all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back here we go again the last kingdom season one episode seven is here today happy thursday you guys are awesome let's do this anyways um Uhtred and leofrich is about to do a one-on-one -on -one death battle right and i'm here for that um as i predicted in my review i think that Leofrich is going to take the fall in this fight because he believes in Uhtred. He believes in Uhtred and it's not necessarily that he believes he should be punished for this, for what happened. I think more of like he's become such good friends with Uhtred that he realizes that this dude is never going to get anything in life. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um... I think he's going to take the fall. If he does, I might have a better evaluation of why he took the fall during the episode. If it does happen, I don't know. So, um, let's, I'm just hoping that they better not kill Uhtred. That's all I'm trying to say. Don't kill Uhtred. That's all I need. Okay. See you guys for the review. All right, so today was a good day. Today was a good day of recording, man. Eight episodes of TV shows. Four episodes of The Walking Dead. Four episodes of The Last Kingdom. I'm going to finish up the season of The Last Kingdom tomorrow. I'm going to make sure that I, it's 1 o'clock in the morning right now, so I'm going to make sure that, you know, I'm going to maybe get a little something to eat and then go straight to bed. Wake up early tomorrow. Get a lot of these reactions done. Most of the anime stuff. I I can be done recording four episodes. Four episodes of anime is like an hour and twenty minutes. An hour, maybe an hour thirty minutes tops to do four episodes of anime. So I should be able to do those. But in any case, let's talk about this episode. This episode, episode seven of season one, The Last Kingdom. Very good episode, man. If it kind of sounds like I'm whispering, it's kind of because I am. It's late at night. I don't want to make too much noise. Even though I soundproof the room, I'm still kind of like, don't want to make too much noise in here because she might hear the mumbling. <laughs> but anyways, um, it was a very good episode. It was very surprising to see that Al um, King Alfred was alive. The way how they revealed him was was awesome. It blew my mind because I didn't expect it. Right? Um, it was a it was well done. Surprise factor was definitely there. Shock value was definitely there because you know i thought at the very least he would have been maybe captured imprisoned maybe but um i don't remember his name but he was he was still looking for him though um along with brita and ragnar so they were still looking for him but we nobody knew where he was so he just popped up and it just happened to come across him in, 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 in the wetlands or swamplands or whatever. So that was pretty cool. Um, so I'm pretty sure that Uhtred and Alfred is going to have a completely different relationship now. They should after this. If he's still the same person after this, I would be absolutely surprised if Alfred goes back to treating Uhtred like a piece of shit. Like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, so it's on now. They've both lost everything pretty much now. So what now? You get what I'm saying? We got to be best buddies now because we in the same boat. I'm surprised that Uhtred actually just. And that's what I'm saying, man. He, he's like me in so many ways. I can relate to this character is so much because a lot of people have done me wrong in the past where, you know, I want to beat them up. I want to just never speak to them again and then they end up changing a certain thing about themselves and we become good friends again so you know because it's not like you really want to like you want to kill the person or anything like that it's more of like you know you're just not the person that's supposed to be around me right now you know what i'm saying like you you're an asshole i don't want you around me you know so i'm really liking Isolt 
I like her. Um, she's definitely the, the, the best looking girl on the show right now. Um, I like to point things like that out. It's very, you know, it, it's vanity. You know, it's, it's stuff that I shouldn't point out, but I like to point it out because, you know, I have a lot of TV show, um, TV shows, um, infatuations that I have with a lot of these women that I see on TV. I have a lot of TV crushes, you know what I'm saying? So I like to point out, and it so might just become one of my TV crushes. Cause she's a very beautiful woman, very beautiful woman, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and to see, kind of see her vulnerable side too from her, you know, grieving for somebody she hasn't even met. So there's a deeper connection with her. I don't know. I don't want to call her a witch though. That's the thing. I don't want to call her a witch. Um she's also not what you would call a prophet either. So it's kind of like what category does she really fit in? Um she she that thing she did with Edward was really kind of witch like, but <laughs> I don't want to call it that. But it is what it is because I want to like her character. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think she's going to be valuable going forward. Um, she hasn't slept with Uhtred and that's good. Let her maintain her virginity so she can tell the, the future or whatever. I don't think, you know, it's whatever, you know. Um, Elswith is, she, she is, I understand what she's going through, but... I don't really like her character you know that she plays in the show like i don't really like her character because she just hates on people for no reason it's just like you know as as christians you know everybody should be welcome you shouldn't be saying oh they're pagans they can't be saved or they're you know heathens and all of this other stuff when everybody you should be looking to tell everybody about this god this one god that you believe is the one god you should be telling everybody about it you know what i'm saying you should be willing to do that instead of just automatically judging people because we're not we're not supposed to judge people you get what i'm saying we're not we, we, okay, at least let me say this you're supposed to judge righteously you get what I'm saying? You're supposed to judge righteously. So let me not say you're supposed to be judged because that's just half of the, the saying. You're supposed to judge righteously. So if you see something wrong, if you know somebody is a liar, you should call them a liar. You get what I'm saying? You shouldn't just jump somebody who you've just met. You can't just walk up to their face and be like, you're a liar because you don't know the person. So that's not judging righteously. Judging righteously is basically telling the truth if you know the truth about the person. So you can't just tell somebody just just because you have a friend that's a liar you can't tell that person that they're a liar because they hang out with a friend that's a liar that's judging the person unrighteously so you get what i'm saying but in any case man i'm loving this show i'm loving this show them getting a victory there in the swamp land sending out all the priests to send up tell everybody that king alfred is alive that was pretty cool um but we'll see how things go um, the attack that happened, I wasn't expecting the attack during the battle, the 1v1 that Uhtred and, um, Leofrich, is it, <laughs> Leofrich, 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 <laughs> I completely forgot his name right now, but in any case, uh, I think it's Leofrich, Leofrich, right, um, so, yeah, I didn't expect the Vikings to the Danes, I should say, to attack. That was very surprising to me because there was no prior hint towards that except the fact that Brita was there and I was wondering where why she was there, you know. And it's kind of funny that she was kind of like there and nobody noticed her like you get what I'm saying? Nobody really noticed her to say, oh, that's the girl that used to hang out around here with Uhtred. Like, nobody noticed her. So that was kind of weird, too. So she, they planned the attack. So it was very unexpected by everybody because they thought because they killed Uba, you know, Guthrum. Yeah, remember his name finally. Guthrum wouldn't attack, right? But on the contrary, he has taken things up on his own. He's even calling people writing down stuff magic but i guess it's magic to him <laughs> but in anyways um 
yeah, this was a very good episode, man. I'm going to do another episode tomorrow. So you guys will have that on Friday. So look out for that. I'm just going to finish up the season and then we'll start season two week after next because <laughs> today's Saturday is still for me. So I appreciate you guys, man. Just remember to leave a like, leave a comment and also subscribe if you're new. I'm loving The Last Kingdom. Happy you guys are enjoying my reactions too. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.